J1 further subnodes. And welcome to another Obi-Wan episode 5 spoiler review. Now, if you're enjoying Obi-Wan as much as we are and you want to enjoy all the stuff that we do on the channel, by all means, I tell you all the time, subscribe, like. I know you already comment, but also head over to Discord where we talk about all things Star Wars. So, gents, episode 5, what are you man saying? Hmm. I didn't mean, like it. No, I love the episode. I'm just trying oh. to see where to where you want to start. Yeah, because there's a lot of well, you can start with flashbacks. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was a good episode, isn't it? It's a good episode. I don't really like. I like how the tr the story's transpiring, but with one episode left, I'm very full fearful for where this is going to end. Um, in terms of like Reva, what's going on now with the reemergence of the Grand Inquisitor and the race to Tatooine for Luke. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at. I thought it was good to see Vader in the episode, but it's like, they just kind of, how do I say it, man? Vader was just all pump fake this, this episode, all pump fake. Everything he was doing was a pump fake. Like anytime his breathing came in, nothing was happening. When he showed up and destroyed the ship, Nothing happened. He fights someone who is so far below man's pay grade that like it's a joke. Like with like so I feel like Vader was you he was used how they've been using Vader, but this is the most least impactful Vader. Like he actually did nothing on this episode. Besides stand. Do you know what I'm saying? Now I love getting Vader, but I want Vader to be used correctly and not as a decoy strategy. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I don't see, like, it's very rare, you see what happened to Vader today, mm. that we see that happen. Like, he got evaded and a building was not dropped on him. Do you get what I'm saying? If you're going to evade Vader, a build, legit, like, when I say a building, I mean a building must fall on, man. Like, bruv. So, the use of Vader today, I'm... Yeah, like, it's like, got, got its moments that... It's, 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 it's got not, its... No, it's got its it's got its shock value right. for the first time you watch it. Right. The next time you watch this episode, all of those Vader moments just won't be as deep. Unlike the Rogue One scene. Now, like, every time you see the Rogue One scene, it's madness, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And the only reason I bring it up is because I'm fearful for now. These lot might just be like, we can do this again with Vader. Like, this is how we got Hulk to Professor Hulk. Do you get what I'm saying? Bro, I bring it up because this is the same... You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I, I'm following and, and, and we've already said that. You use Vader, you have to use Vader how you was using Hulk early. Like, hey, you show him, he does some stuff, and then you bring him out. So the whole Vader thing, I'm not against it. It's cool to see, man. But I'm wary of where that's going. Reva. I don't know, bruv. I don't know what they're doing there. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm fearful. I'm fearful. I, I, I had, as soon as, as soon as... Actually, let me go, let me go back with the whole six episodes thing that... That, that you mentioned like I feel like that's an overall consensus of every Star Wars fan right now is like why are we only getting six episodes like it's not enough to work uh, the way they, they're laying things out I'm, I'm not against six episodes but do you know what stands out to me when we've got six episodes now episode four where Princess Leia sits in a cell the whole episode like we could have skipped that whole thing mm. like it wasn't very Obi-Wan centric at all Right. So now I'm like, you've stolen an hour from us that we could have got to like deepen this mm. just for that. We still could have had all of this Leia doing Uncharted, climbing through vents and Spider-Man stuff as well anyway. But we could have got that episode back now. So like, bruv, to, for, for me, with Obi-Wan, I'm going to be old, old D critical with it, fam, because they're moving mad, bruv. Like, and we was like, to episode three, we was doing very well. Episode four was like, oh, it was good, but this episode, I think they tried to set up a lot, but they're using Vader the wrong way. It was good to see Hayden Christensen mm. as um, 
Anakin. Mm-hmm. But even there's some of that I don't like, bro. See, oh, there's really? some of that I don't like. With, bro. with with that, I feel like they used the flashbacks to show how Obi Wan is still like just fully understands, yeah. 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 yeah, fully understands, man, understands man, man, and all of that stuff. So like that's I like the way they've gone back and forth. They're, okay, I'm I'm cool with that because, bro, for me, like. Vader never beats Obi Wan. Like mm. they will never. He never beats him. He never beats him. him. Huh? Between that two. No, he doesn't. That's that's Obi Wan winning. Yeah. Obi Wan wins that beef. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's still so that's still yeah. Won. So yeah. that's not Obi Wan wins the beef at the mm. end. Yeah. He steals from Vader mm. something Vader can never get. Mm. Like to to kill man. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And he becomes more powerful than yeah. a Jedi has ever become. Before. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. so, Vader never beats Obi Wan. I'm mm. cool with that, bro. But like the the beef between Anakin. And Obi Wan in the flashback reminds me it's, it's very Clone Warsy. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's like Anakin's demeanor, like it's like they was telling him, oh, like half Vader in the comp in the training with Obi Wan, yeah. And he never does that, bro. He never goes like that in their training. It's always deeper banter, but deeper levels. Mm-hmm. So it's it plays out exactly the same. But I don't see Obi like Anakin being butt hurt after oh, it okay. when it's just him and Anakin, Obi-Wan. Mm. He never he never gets that energy for Obi-Wan until revenge. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So when I see it there, I don't want that because that wasn't a relationship, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? The mm. training's good. Mm-hmm. The training's good. But it's the whole, because we're seeing Obi-Wan, they're trying to appease fans who ain't watched Clone Wars, who ain't seen it. So there's got to be a little darkness of in 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 in, in Anakin's place. eyes, and there doesn't have to be. The only darkness in his eyes needs to be any time they show us in the temple when he's killing the kids. Okay. That's when you show his turn. That's when he's turned. And right. that's when you show he's still there. He's still learning. Oh, he's still okay. jumps, bro. For me, I, I thought it was always the danger of someone else that he cares for. So it was like Padme. Then he would go like Ham. Or something. Yeah, that's when he, he loses his composure. Yeah, or his mum, Mangos. And that, there was none of that in that's the trip. Exactly. It's funny how he has that anger going. Oh, I'm going to beat you, even though you're my master. It's like man was swinging for him. The thing was funny about that is, but I mean, whenever we've spoken about Revenge of the Sith, we always said that they should have taken the angle of a star player on a sports team who is getting, who is not getting the shine they deserve. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And. That motivates that, what you're talking about, way more. And that's what they was leading into in this. Mm. But that's not what happens Ever. in Star Wars canon. Mm. So this is where my discrepancy with how the character's moving comes from. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So, bro, it's all deep. Like, we're getting super, it's super, what, you know what I'm saying? It's what man's here for. It's what man's here for. So that, I don't know, bro. Yeah. But you was, sorry, you was going on with the Reaver team. You took it back. Yeah, so so with the whole Reaver thing, like, soon as they got to the door and they start talking and, and Obi-Wan's starting to, like, decipher, okay, what's happened, in my heart, I was just like, please, let don't let her be, like, converted to the other side. Mm. But I do like how she's like, yo, I've infiltrated Vader. I hate what you did for, for, for my friends. And I also hate the Jedi. And I'm going to stay there with this anger. I like that. That's right. That's correct. Right. That is the correct energy. But we have seen in Star Wars time and time again, when it's a character who has touched dark side and has to come out of it, they can never stay in a place of dark neutrality. Mm-hmm. So they can, So Star Wars will be like, you can have a grey Jedi, which is not a Jedi, but you can't have like a Sith like someone who has a red lightsaber, mm-hmm. isn't a Sith, isn't an Inquisitor, and just is on their own team. Right. Like Star Wars, for some reason, Don't says that it. this is wrong. Right. Like we cannot accept this. This character that you're put in front of us is that she has a deep, deep seeded reason to hate Obi Wan and the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she also has a deep seeded reason to hate Vader and the Empire, bro. Mm-hmm. This makes you stand alone, mm-hmm. not as a grey Jedi or as an Inquisitor. It's just someone. And she taps dark side. Right. And man told her at the end, oh, revenge is a powerful thing. So now the person that she killed, who came back off eating off revenge, she should come back mm. off eating off revenge. And that revenge should turn her deeper and darker and darker into something else. Right. Mm. Much like her. You know what she reminded me? So Guerrero. Like that. Where like, like that, He yeah. just gets whatever is necessary to be done, I'm doing it. Like, I don't care. I'll kill anyone on either yeah, side. Exactly. Like, you get on my Bro, way, I'm murking you. That, that That's the be, energy. That should that be her she, energy. Yeah. That should be her energy. It, bruv, it wouldn't, like, 
the thing is, yeah, if these men are drop fumbling a bag on this, it's gonna it's gonna lose my mind because I'm, she is I'm so bruv, fearful for that man. Bruv, she is the perfect character to go out there and collect four sensitive kids mm. and say you're not Sith, you're not Jedi, mm. you're not. Bro, that is a like. <laughs> I save Jedi survivors. Mm -hmm. Like what? That like, bro, it is there, bro. It's there. It's not gonna happen, though. bro. That's and all I'm saying is it's that's on them because mm -hmm. I just want to see this last episode, bro. I want to see this last because I know she's not gonna die. Hundred percent. But like, that's a problem now. No, it's not. It's, it's because like then like it's, then it's a toss up between the two. It's like is she gonna help or is she gonna be by herself? And she, it's a very thin line. But she can help. She can help Obi Wan. Yeah. Yeah. But it can't be, yeah, it, but it can't be helping Obi-Wan to go to that side. Mm -hmm. Like, she has to help Obi-Wan or even help Vader, mm -hmm. like she's been doing for her own personal gain. Mm -hmm. She should be trying to X both of them. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's how I see it. Mm. Like, anything else other than that, bruv, is crazy to me. Crazy, fam. Because, <laughs> bruv, she, she taps too, she taps too, too much into dark side, fam, yeah. mm -hmm. to be then... And she's finished bare Jedi, bro. Like, there's no way she's <laughs> there's no way she's going back, bro. You can't, and you can't. It just it just doesn't like everything. Like from like the way she got wounded. Like the only way for her to like unless someone's gonna start like putting bionics on her, mm. bro. It's hate that's gonna save man. Do you know what I mean? So her just yeah, just nah. Sorry, just can't buy that. Either bet, bro. They they turned Kylo Ren, the man who killed his dad and bro back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so let's, let's not, no, no. Uh, bro. <laughs> this is this is what we're dealing with, bro. This is the uh, canon of their uh, universe. I'm not, I'm not like that. Mm. for me. I feel like Kylo Ren is like an anomaly. Like I, I, like he's seen his whole arc. It feels like he wanted to go there, but didn't want to go there. He also felt like he was no he anomaly. To, uh, That's the no. writers, bro. That's the writers yeah, making right. him move mad because Kylo Ren should have been doing his like he's yeah, just his, his own thing. thing. Yeah. And these are like, no, we've gotta we've gotta make it parallel this. We've gotta do like <laughs> No you don't. You let the character character. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Because at, at the end of episode eight when it's just like, oh Ray, just come with me and that's it. We'll just do our own team. Yeah. I feel like that was gonna happen there but it didn't. So for me I was like Because these lot are mad. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm saying, so it's Sam, like... Listen, Sam, you're saying the right thing, bro. Yeah, like, like, you've got a character who clearly... Bro, my man's ma mantra is let the past die, mm -hmm. forget the Sith, forget mm -hmm. the Jedi. Yeah, that'd be nothing. And then even then, they had to wax that guy. Yeah, bro, and I'm like, you, man, set that up yeah. to destroy it. So when I'm seeing them set up this great dark side character uh -huh. and then Obi-Wan, the greatest Jedi of all, starts whispering in her ears, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's over, bro. You're going to be a Force ghost. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're like, showing up with Qui-Gon and them, man. And Luke and that. Bro. And that's what I'm hoping. She, like you said, oh she days. just stays neutral. It's like, F everybody else. And like, basically a Ronin. What we saw in um, Visions episode one. I hope, bro, I hope, I hope that, bro. But that had to be an anime made by an independent studio to do that story, fam. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So, and I can't wish that the character dies. Either. I can't do it. I just can't do it. No. She's, she's, too, she's too good, man. But see, it, good. but it's the thing. Now, if it's the choice between the good side Thank and her you. being dead, if she went to the good side, in my mind, the character's dead. Oh, it'll be... <laughs> but it's, no, the that's same. What I'm saying. Yeah, it's the same with Anakin. Like, bro, you're neutral, you're dead. Anakin and Vader are two different characters. Mm -hmm. Anakin died, boom. Mm -hmm. There is Vader, boom. Mm -hmm. And that's how I would see it from her. So... If she does start moving shaky, this die. episode... No, no, no. This episode here is the last time I saw the first sister, bruv. Where she got stabbed, bruv. That was it, fam. She died there on the sands at Vader's feet. Mad. 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 But ladies and gentlemen, do jump in the comment section below. Head over to patreon.com forward slash the cybernerd if you want to watch our reaction and the kind of things we're discussing during the watch along. Then also, if you haven't done so, we have Discord where all things Star Wars are being discussed at the Sith Academy. On that note, we shall see you at the finale next week. I'm Raven your GS. I'm Sam Mr. Blitz Tech. Jay, one further to Cyber Nerds. Peace. <laughs>